Hi hey everyone, it's Arnie and today I have a very very special word to you but before I continue please subscribe, like, share, ring the bell to stay notified and let's go. So I'm a little bit sick yet sick but I'll try to do my best to entertain in this video and it's the first time I'm bringing Warlock to war. He's only rank 4 Warlock but he's going to have a lot of insane action uh, like uh, Havoc fights, Sentinel fight, Nick Fury fight, and some more interesting fights also coming this war. I also bring in Captain Beardo, of course, Captain, war, Captain America Infinity War, and Namor for this war. And I'm in a new battle group with also fellow YouTubers Getchu and Mingo MCOC. I will put link to their channels in the comment below the video. And it's a new path, we're testing a new path of season, it's path number 7 and I'm not running this uh, discovery mastery, I forgot the name of the mastery, but first fight is Nightcrawler and after I think one of the updates you can really switch his modes, it can just stop in the middle, so I'm doing just parry a few hits, parry a few hits, the breakthrough after some damage, SP3 and game over for him. And we're moving on to the next one and this guy has void in his profile so I decided you know what I will go with warlock he can also prevent masochism when he apply his infection and it wasn't uh, war, uh, void and I'm like oh shit oh shit <laughs> It's Sentinel, it's other waking Sentinel, but still uh, I decided not to play medium light medium uh, to prevent his charges, but maybe I should have. So now I'm like, okay, so please don't time out, please don't time out. It's also a bubble shield, I think after 10 hits his hit become unblockable. And I'm pushing him to SP2, I'm pretty good on evading his SP2 in Warlock, I'm really really enjoying to play with Warlock, his goofiness is just an awesome champion, he's going to be to rank 5 soon, it's very nice to intercept with him, but I noticed a thing, that if the opponent have a bar of power and you're doing a 5 hit combo and trying to dash back, uh, the, they can catch you, and you will see it in a moment, so the fight He's going slowly but steady, it's he at 50%, 50% of the time passed and I'm really enjoying it. Another thing about Warlock, and here there he got me with his SP2, another amazing thing about Warlock that he doesn't need to be awakened, his awakened ability adds uh, degeneration, but even without degeneration, he's awesome. So here he was an example, I did a 5 hit combo, I dashed back but uh, AI trigger immediately special and you don't have enough time to dash back again so this was a little bit annoying and of course I'm just learning this champion trying to have fun with him and man, this is so nice so I go for sp3 and sp3 will give me a 10% health I think but let's check it's also one of the most awesome sp3s there is in the game it just swallows you and like phew and then he cleaves his mouth it's very nice, so yeah, it's around, I don't know, 7%? I need to check. But I'm trying to do my best here and do play a little bit aggressive here because as you can see here, time is almost run over, do some intercepts and it's, it feels so good to play with, with Warlock and thank, thank you my kids who pulled me this guy. So last SP2, insane damage and game over. So it was a very very long fight but it was a very fun fight. So next node is again in this invisible node, it's Aegis Heavy node and I'm bringing Captain Birodo because he have two parts and guess what, Domino. And this girl, even if it's with suicide, she's so annoying and I noticed something that my heavy has two parts and in the beginning I only removed one charge, one heavy charge. But let's see, let's see why we all hate Domino. So I took four block hits, right? And basically most of the damage is uh, is from her critical failure. And I'm like, damn girl, you crit fail me 
time after time and I'm also playing very very safe here very cautious here I do want this weakness on me and <laughs> oh just the percentage is going away I did sp2 I was unlucky I didn't pay attention crit fail also all the goodness <laughs> and I lost 50% let's say 5% to recoil but damn girl I really really hate champions that do such a BS thing to you that you can play well against them but they will get you at the end. So she the generating so basically needed to trigger special or she will die from her uh, her poison mastery so she did. But she was really really annoying. And we are moving on to next fight and this is going to be Spider-Man. And I'm going with Warlock on this biohazard node and it's Spider-Man, it's also dodge tactics and Warlock by default has accuracy ability reduction so it's already awesome and this Spidey also evades and which is a, not a bad thing because I can push him to SP2 but I do play a little bit cautious here trying not to hit him too much and the fight is going perfectly here he evaded, trigger SP1, but I was ready for this SP1. I'm like, should I go for SP2? Nah, it's, it's risky. So here again, another evade. Oh, come on, dude. So <laughs> I reached my SP3. Let's go. Let's finish this guy with SP3. So boom. And game over for Spider-Man. And we're moving on. We're moving on. We're reaching this havoc in a moment so first one it's uh, a quake again it's an evade node and backup recovery and all other nice stuff and i'm bringing my captain beardo for this fight come on beardo let's do it so my strategy is simple here she also has suicide but i'm going to do party heavy and <laughs> she evade i'm like okay and now I also have this debuff on me, the timer on me, I will probably need to trigger special just before the timer ends. Now I have two of them, it's 40% chance to get stunned. So I decided to go with SP3 and great SP1, sorry, and great thing about SP1, if you time it correctly, it will reduce accuracy ability by 100%. This means the backup recovery did nothing to her, she gained nothing basically from it and this was nice. So I'm just playing very very safe here and she's done. You gain damage from the mistakes. Now we're moving on the, to the fight that I really really wanted to take. And this is Havoc on Buffet node. And Warlock starts with buffs. He starts with armor up buff and armor up this is the buff that prevents from Havoc to put it plus head just to apply detonation on you. But the Fed Knot will remove this buff at the beginning of the fight and trigger the timer. It also have a deep wounds, the bleed mastery on him, and this just increased his double his plasma placement on me. And what I'm trying to do, and this is the tricky part of this fight. I'm trying to time uh, the dexterity to trigger buffet because I really want to trigger buffet and my my armor up, and I managed to do it. Because once I have uh, armor up, uh, Havoc will, will do nothing to me and also as long as I have uh, this infection on him, he won't gain any health. It's a perfect heal block, a passive heal block that works everywhere. So this is very very awesome and, uh, and he just melts uh, Havoc here. Also. I'm power draining this guy because under infection, when he gain power, he lose power. <laughs> and again, I'm still learning Warlock, but it's so fun to play. Just l look at this beautiful guy. Look what he did here. He just melted him. It's only rank 4 Warlock, guys. Only rank 4. And Havoc is down. I'm really, really enjoying this war, but at this point... Some 
things are going to happen. So you saw me taking Korg many times as a boss. On this node, I basically used to fight this guy here. It's a usual routine. I have Namor full health for this fight. I'm just all set up for this specific fight, right? Hmm. So if you like to see me fail, this is your time, fellas. Enjoy it. So uh, let's go with the fight. Uh, I'm trying not to evade, not to trigger his uh, just shallow evades. Trying to build my SP3. Everything the usual, the usual stuff that I'm doing with Korg. A little bit defensive here, but I don't mind. Let's go. And he's still defensive here. So now. I have 18 uh, outrages and the fight is going pretty pretty good here at 21 and I decide you know what let's go with sp3 I have 22 let's do sp3 uh, I'll do some damage with attacks reach another imperious rex mod and then we'll probably kill him right <sighs> yeah right so everything goes well till this point I'm just waiting for my uh, 30 outrages, trying to plan his uh, his SP2 and this dick caught me and I'm like oh shit, come on, come on and he is not willing to throw his SP2 so I decided to go with my SP2 and I'm like come on, come on, finally he triggered his SP2 but now I'm degenerating and I should transfer this degeneration back and I'm not sure that it's transferring but I'm still trying to savage this fight and I did one hit try to dash back and I failed so I thought I was recording I went with Namor again and I lost again and I went with uh, Namor no I wanted to select Namor but by accident I selected Warlock so I had to force close this fight and I went with Namor again and so I died a couple of times to Korg but yeah <laughs> and I really thought that I'm recording everything because I never stopped the recording but it's just like shit <laughs> uh, but it's off season so we're allowed to fail and I would trying not to heal anymore uh, I, it just was my pride my pride was so hard with this Korg especially when I used to fight him all season that I had to take this fight I really had to take this fight and in this Killmonger it's unblockable SP1 and this Killmonger also has suicide so nothing really special with suicide he kills himself and I'm also playing a, a very aggressive because at this point I don't really care if I die or not. I have a lot of healthy guys that can back me up. They could also back me up on Korg, but uh, you know, a stubborn guy in off season war. And this, just, just look at the damage, the reverberation damage sent back to him. It's so nice, so nice. I just, come on, just a few more hits. You see, full intercepts. I'm going with SP1, I'm trying to do as much damage as I can, I'm in Imperious Rex mod and it's fine to do a few hits, recall, kill him and game over for this guy. So now it's the last fight, it's a Nick Fury on unblockable SP2 and really it's, not, it's a bad placement for Nick Fury. Because if you bring rank 5 champion, you can just bait SP2s and just hit him, bait SP2s. But I can guess why they did place him here, it's just for players to time out because of his second phase. And if you bring magic, it will be just a perfect fight, she will clear him without any issues. And I'm speeding this fight because honestly it's not an interesting fight, it's just boring, 5 hit combo, uh, SP2 bait, hit fight. This is basically the fight that I'm doing here nothing nothing really special and it's only rank 4 warlock and i'm just i'm not boosting i'm not going to boost for this fight and i'm like okay let's have some fun so this is going to be the last fight of this alliance war i hope you enjoyed this alliance war as much as i did and it's a little bit bummer that i haven't recorded all my failures on cork but it was basically another death with namor 
and I revived the game Namor and wanted to go with Namor went accidentally but with uh, Warlock so I forced close because Warlock has no chance against Korg and I went with Namor again and cleared the fight yeah it's a damn to use boosts <laughs> sorry revives and items on off season war but my pride was hurt my pride was really really hurt <laughs> at this point and so I really really wanted uh, my revenge uh, <laughs> on Korg of course this was one happy uh, when we're going to be on season i hope you enjoyed this gameplay i hope you enjoyed the warlock gameplay if you did click like share subscribe it helps a lot uh, you can support the channel by viewing the videos share with your friend become a member if you wish and see you soon on my next video